Jupiter Media presents Awasar telecasting global opportunities hello and namaste welcome to our program this program is all about education educational news views and interview i'm your regular host sunil acharya and time and again we are giving you the fresh information about eastern india program भारत अध्ययनार्थ जान चाहने विद्यार्थी विद्यार्थी प्रत्यक्ष रूप में परामर्श प्रदान करने उद्देश्य का साथ स्टडी इन इंडिया एक्सपो सुरुआत होटल रैडिशन में आज रोलि दुई दिन का लगी भारत का उत्कृष्ट विश्वविद्यालय स्टडी इन इंडिया एक्सपो प्रोग्राम मार्फत विद्यार्थी परामर्श प्रदान करने पैंतीस भाग बड़ी इंडियन उत्कृष्ट विश्वविद्यालय और कलेज का प्रतिनिधि विद्यार्थी स्कलरशिप र एडमिशन का बारे में जानकारी प्रदान कर सोई विषय में केन्द्रित रह आज को अवसर कार्यक्रम में हमी तुरा प्रस्तुत कर हेलो एंड नमस्ते वेलकम टू अवसर प्रोग्राम दिस प्रोग्राम इज अल अबाउट एजुकेशन एजुकेशन न्यूज भ्यूज एंड इंटरव्यू स्पेशली आई एम योर रेगुलर होस्ट सुनील आचार्य एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टक अबाउट स्टडी इन इंडिया प्रोग्राम स्पेशली मोस्ट अफ द प्रोमिनेंट यूनिवर्सिटीज आर ट्रावलिंग हियर इन नेपाल टू गिव फ्रेस इन्फर्मेशन इन पोस्ट पैंडमिक सीचुएसन थ्रू स्टडी इन इंडिया एक्सपो वी हेव वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट फ्रम एस आर एम यूनिवर्सिटी हु इज नन अदर दैन डॉक्टर करतार सिंह हि इज लुकिंग एफ्टर डॉक् डिरेक्टर इंटरनेशनल रिनेसन्स लेट्स वेलकम हिम टू द सो डॉक्टर करतार यू आर वेलकम ऑन आर सो it's a great honor to be here and i think visiting nepal is always very special mm -hmm. uh, it's a very special country for us in the university we receive a number of visitors uh, students who come to study at uh, various levels and uh, something that has struck us about the students from nepal is that they are academically very brilliant mm -hmm. they come with very good credentials backgrounds and they excel in the classroom in fact they do better than uh, many of the uh, other students and they are very hard working and they are very keen to complete their studies and go back to nepal to help in its uh, socio economic development okay so it's a real Great honor to, to be here yeah great to know about it and srm is a really good brand for nepali students and parents those who are looking studying in india of some sign opportunities throughout television so how you assure that srm is delivering global standard education yeah see srm is uh, we have been in the business of higher education now for a long time almost uh, three decades and more and we started as an engineering uh, institution a polytechnic and we have grown in strength particularly in engineering and technology so that was where we started and we built our our programs uh, in that sector but uh, along the way we have also diversified into many other disciplines uh, today we do almost every subject and discipline except perhaps for veterinary science so we have got medicine health science programs agriculture law and within engineering we do about uh, 17 18 different uh, courses so we have uh, so we provide a multidisciplinary platform where there is this very unique uh, intermixing of uh, disciplines so a student coming to study with us will be able to get uh, an exposure into different areas and i think the innovation that's happened uh, over the last few years is uh, the ability of us to come up with a flexible curriculum design so the student can decide how they want to mix and match the different courses so that you know the course also has to be a bit flexible so that the student can uh, uh, design it to meet their requirement okay so especially talking about nepali student student community there in srm how they are enjoying the ambience quality of education and the environment mm -hmm. in tamil nadu See the uh, one thing I have noticed because I do uh, uh, call the Nepali students uh, together. I do try and have meetings with them uh, to take feedback about some of the difficulties or uh, things that they are facing. And uh, one thing, like I said earlier, you see, in the classroom they are brilliant, 
i think they come with such a good academic background and they are so serious about the study so serious about their career and professional path that they make uh, really excellent uh, students on the on the campus uh, they also do a lot in terms of experiential learning because we provide many opportunities for the students to take part in pro projects many of these uh, projects uh, they work in groups and uh, and and also they undertake internships we also uh, help the students to do internships with foreign institutions so that is another added advantage so yes i think uh, the students from nepal are very special for us there is a strong community within the university and uh, we we try and encourage them also to kind of celebrate some of their festivals and other programs and now we we want to help the students also in terms of their placement in fact srm has one of the largest uh, placement uh, records in the country for a uh, uh, educational institution this year probably we'll do about uh, between 9000 to 10000 placements with about 900 colleges uh, companies visiting us so we're also trying to so all the students from nepal who join us they undergo this uh, placement training from the very first year so they they also improve their soft skills so that by the time they pass out they are industry ready the industries can straight away employ them and i'm very happy to let you know that some of the nepali students are working for especially in the it sector they are working for some of the indian companies and earning very good salaries so there is placement uh, possibility even for the students from nepal within india uh, through our interaction with the companies and also we are now trying to see how we can uh, work with the indian companies operating in nepal so that we can arrange for some kind of a internship in these companies in india and then uh, maybe these companies will also give them placement in their companies when they come back to nepal okay especially we have uh, um, had really uh, terrible time in 2020 and 21 due to the covid situation uh, how srm university care international student at that period let's uh, flash back the covid situation once yeah no that was i think uh, such an unfortunate uh, part in our history and i think covid affected uh, impacted uh, you know just about anyone it wasn't restricted to any particular region uh, but particularly the sark countries and nepal has been a very uh, prominent uh, kind of uh, member in terms of our partnership agenda and students also so we came up with uh, uh, with a special scholarship scheme that we have for uh, nepal uh, it's a 50% scholarship scheme and we rationalized our uh, fee structure as well uh, so today uh, from now onwards any student coming from uh, nepal will be paying a fee which is almost similar to what a domestic student pays so we don't have this very big differential between domestic and international so that is uh, something that we have uh, done and we have also come up with the, with a number of full fee scholarships in uh, for engineers who want to do their mtech pg qualification and i was very happy today i met a few students who wanted to uh, really bright uh, students who have uh, passed out with very high cgpa and uh, meritorious students uh, who don't have the income to be able to maybe pay the full fee so we have made an offer to them that we will consider them for the full uh, scholarship so that is something that we are also doing and uh, we also now for our phd program uh, we offer a stipend of 25000 rupees per month for anyone who registers for the phd program and the fee also is very affordable so much so that if a student comes to do phd with us it comes at no cost the fee is uh, rationalized to such an extent and with the stipend uh, there's no cost for them to study 
So these are some of the measures that we have taken to try and uh, support international uh, students, particularly during the COVID situation, like you rightly said. A lot of families were impacted. They lost their jobs and the incomes went down. So this, uh, we came up with some of these measures to try and help students uh, in whatever way we could. Okay, especially due to um, uh, during our journey program, we are visiting different destinations, talking with international students, and they are often talking about the infrastructure, international student supporting center, and so on things. In this case, how SRM University is established its uh, international student care center and welcoming international student in SRM. Yeah, no, I think that's a very important point that you make. Uh, see, one is uh, the international students need to be welcomed with uh, open arms. The second is they need to be also integrated uh, with the local culture and they need time to settle down and uh, get to know about the teaching learning process. So our, uh, we have some special hostels for the uh, international students. So that is one thing we need to make sure that their uh, stay is comfortable, their food is taken care of. So that's one thing we do. The second is we have a very vibrant uh, student community on campus. Uh, students from all parts of India, all the states of India are present on our campus. And we have uh, students from uh, probably more than about 900 international students from different uh, more than 50 different countries. So it's a very kind of a diverse community uh, for these people to be in, for the students to be in. And uh, we have more than 200 collaborations with foreign universities. There's also opportunities for our students to take part in, in uh, mobility programs to spend a semester. So I think uh, it's, uh, it's not just about academics, but also what happens outside the classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, because they need to, when they pass out, it's uh, the total personality development that takes place. And this is what companies are looking for. Uh, students who can come in, graduates who can come in, and enter into a kind of uh, intercultural kind of an environment. Because a lot of companies now are uh, working across boundaries. So they need to have all these very special uh, qualities and characteristics. What is your message to participate prospective students and parents through television show? Yeah, no, I think this is a wonderful platform uh, for students and uh, prospective students and, their, and parents to come and spend time with us. I think uh, this is a very unique opportunity because uh, this platform provides for a face-to-face -face meeting and nothing like meeting the representatives from the university, getting to know about the features of the university, uh, what are the quality uh, uh, aspects of the university. So these are, so they can come and question us about all these aspects and satisfy themselves uh, about uh, the quality of the studies and also they need to bear in mind uh, after three or four years when our uh, children pass out, what kind of uh, uh, graduates will they be? Are they ready to face the world? Are they ready to uh, enter the industry of today which is changing very rapidly? And I think uh, I would urge and encourage uh, all students and their parents who are desirous of uh, uh, coming to study in India to make use of this opportunity and come and visit us. Already we are seeing a very tremendous uh, response uh, to the exhibition and we would love to see more uh, uh, students from here come and spend time uh, with us. Thank you so much for your valuable time, time and thoughts. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank namaste. Our sir, telecasting global opportunities.